unlike the mainstream media, unlike celebrities of all races, unlike liberals, black business owners know that Black Lives Matter has resulted in widespread violence. There's one woman, I'm go- I want to draft her to run for president. She's speaking the most common sense of maybe anybody I've seen with a public platform. And she just happens to be a business owner on a street who got her, her shop destroyed by these rioters. She came out and gave a, a harder, more realistic look at the Black Lives Matter riots. The problem that bothers me, you says Black Lives Matter. I work here part time. Plus, I'm a part owner of this store. You said Black Lives Matter. Why don't you choke me? I'm black. Tell him, sister. Look what you did to my store. Tell him, sister. Look. Look what you did to my store. Tell him, sister. That's my because I got their back. These are my dudes right here. Good men. Look at the things you've done. Good men. Look. But Black Lives Matter. We've been here all night cleaning up. All night cleaning. And you got black people standing right here with them. Tell me. That's right. Black Lives Matter. Exactly. You lied. You wanted to loot the store. You needed money. Get a job like I do. Stop stealing. This is the neighborhood. We try to build it up and you tan it down. Only a liberal intellectual could not understand that. That is the simplest, most precise, most accurate statement of public policy I've seen in a long time. Black li- you say Black Lives Matter, you're destroying my community and my business. You say you're doing this for Black Lives, that's obviously not true. You're doing it because you want to take all my money. And uh, instead of doing that, instead of stealing from people, which is a sin and a crime, you should get a job. Get a job like I do and act like a normal person in civil society. Simple enough. It would Only the most sophisticated white liberal could not understand that statement. Love that woman. I, I, I want her to run for president. Not supposed to see the images of black business owners whose livelihoods and neighborhoods have been destroyed. Not supposed to see images of the looting because we've been told this is a peaceful protest that's about justice, that's about uh, all, these, all these really noble, wonderful values. And yet when we see the videos, it looks like people are just stealing a lot of sneakers. Oh, shit. So you got people pouring out of this store, and this guy's following a woman Sweetheart, who's, is this your car? who's carrying some Did sneakers. You leave your car to go get some sneakers? She don't want to talk to him. At least show me what you got. <laughs> show me what you got since you, since you left your car. Hold on, let's see. Let's see what you got. She here. left the car in the let's middle see. of the street. Let's see what you got. You left your car in traffic, ma. You got right? You She's good? nodding, but she doesn't want to talk to him. That's what I'm talking She wants about. to get out of there. <laughs> more people pouring out of the store, more people pouring into the store. Come on, my damn, the pregnant shit got right. This crazy, yo, this crazy, boy. The man who filmed and narrated that, that short video deserves an Academy Award. I mean, that is some really compelling content. I think what it shows us is, this is not about George Floyd. This is not about justice or really noble values. It's just petty crime. And in some cases, it's not so petty crime. All right, here's the deal. Help me help you. I want to continue to inform you about historical facts, current political events, religious truths, and everything that you want to know. All I need from you is for you to hit the like and subscribe button so we can continue to give you all of this content. Thanks.